You know, the pandemic, it forced a lot of businesses to close. Two years later, many people are still dealing with COVID, but experts say small businesses, they're feeling more confident right now. That's right. Suzanne Bruner is with us in studio. And Suzanne, we're actually seeing a bit of a boom of entrepreneurs that uh -huh. came out of the shutdown. Yeah, Cleo, Mark, uh, believe it or not, but 2020, it was a record-breaking year for new business formation, for small businesses. And experts are calling this an American entrepreneurial spirit. I got a chance to speak with Catherine Petralia. She's with Cabbage. It's an American Express-owned company. And what she told me was they're seeing more small businesses outpacing small businesses that have actually closed. Some other important numbers to look at. 90% of small businesses stayed open during the last COVID variant. Also, 70% reported no revenue loss. These are some pretty big percentage numbers here. Now, despite some uncertainty that we have been seeing, she explains why we're seeing more entrepreneurs right now. Um, people's lives just slowed down for a minute and you took stock of what was important. And I think that taking stock moment um, was really something that caused lots and lots of people to say, you know what, I want to do my own thing. I'm, I'm a subject matter expert. I'm passionate about this thing. Um, I, I, I can't start a business. I have more time to do it. I've noticed a lot of people have started their own business too, and you've probably seen it on social media. She says social media has played a big role in giving entrepreneurs that platform to connect people with their products. And they've also noticed brick and mortar businesses doing the same thing, getting on social media, showing what products that they have so they can let their customers know. And Cleo, I know right now we're dealing with inflation. We're also dealing with um, hiring issues right now, but this is some good positive still coming out of that.